I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Of all the things that an aquarium controller can do for your tank, one of the more insightful and impactful things is to automate the testing of your tank. If you automate the testing of your tank and you pay attention to the data, you can spot trends in your tank, you can learn a lot about the tank, and if you set things up correctly, you can avoid potential disasters. Now there's gonna be people watching this video that are gonna go, whoa, hold on, you don't have to have an automated tester to run a reef tank, and they're not wrong. You don't have to have one to run a successful reef tanks. We didn't have one for years and our tanks got along okay. But as I'm traveling more, wanting to keep an eye on my tank, and as often as I've seen people blow off even a simple one to two minute alkalinity test because they're too busy, automated testing makes all the sense in the world. So as I dug more into the hydros, I said, well, wait a minute, what's the automated testing solution that's available right now? For that answer, I asked the man himself, Carlos, to see what he had to say. One of the biggest misconceptions is that you have to test alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium every single day. And the reality is you don't. You only need alkalinity. If your alkalinity is stable, it's almost like your blood pressure. If your blood pressure is okay, then most likely everything else is gonna be fine. If your blood pressure keeps going up and down, if your alkalinity is swinging up and down, then there's gonna be a likelihood that your calcium and magnesium are amiss. There's mm -hmm. something wrong. But other than that, you don't need to test calcium and magnesium every single day. It's a waste of time and a waste of money to me. Especially in a new tank, you don't have any coral. Your alkalinity might run around because the tank is breaking in, but your calcium and magnesium are gonna be steady because nothing is uptaking those elements. Exactly. So if we run just with alkalinity, especially in a new tank, we're fine. Even in a more established tank, I'm most concerned about alkalinity and keeping that stable. Every reefer knows that. With the IV, you have the opportunity to just test alkalinity. You can test alkalinity as often as you want. You can test it every one hour if you want to, or you can test it once a day, or you can test it once a week. It's up to you what you want to do and what fits your thinking of what you need to do to make your tank work. It's okay, the machine is gonna gum up if I test it once a week? No, it's not. It's not, it's not. It's just an acid in salt water. There's nothing else, there's no dye. It's just a regular acid that will drop the pH in the beaker mm -hmm. and then mathematically you can figure out from there what your alkalinity is. But the IV, it mounts to the wall, super light. I don't have to plumb anything to it. It's all done with the X10 and dosing lines. Mm -hmm. Super simple, I get the isolation, I get an alkalinity test and I'm gonna get a more stable salinity test. Absolutely, because you're isolating everything. Okay, so it's an isolation vessel and it's a testing vessel. Correct. But just alkalinity which is what we're most concerned about. You can't do calcium and magnesium, but that's where the upcoming Maven will come up and that's where you're gonna be able to do. So if you're that person that likes to test calcium and magnesium every day, that's fine, that works for you. It doesn't work for me, but it works for you. Mm -hmm. So if you wanna do that, the Maven will be perfect. So Carlos, can I just buy the IV by itself? Technically, no, the IV is the isolated vessel and that's what it is, it's just a vessel, okay? It's a convenience. The brain and the work is being done by the X10. Now having the X10 with the IV is, gives you that complete alkalinity testing. Now granted, you could you know, make yourself an IV, get a stir, connect it to a drive port, wire it, and all that stuff. But who wants to do that? It's a matter of convenience, so yeah. that's what we did. But no, you, in order to, you need the X10 or do, hydros dosers and pH probes in order to use the IV. Could I use a sole or a minnow to do it? Yeah, you can, absolutely. If you want a sole, you know, the beat of the sole is that it can run as low as 0.1 milliliters per minute. And be accurate. And be accurate. So the sole would be your, re your reagent, and then the minnow would be your fill and your drain. It's not worth using three soles to run the IV. No, it's not, it's not. Misconceptions. Misconception is that you need the IV and you need an X10 in order to test alkalinity with the hydros. And the reality is not known. The Hydros, the app, the brain has the software. So whether you use an X10 or you use a minnow with a sole or you use a AC two milliliter per minute Hydros pump and two 40 milliliter per minute Hydros regular pumps, you can test alkalinity. But you must remember that it's kind of like cooking. We were talking about this earlier. You know, if you want a good dish, you have to have good ingredients. Mm -hmm. So if you were expecting high quality, high accuracy on those test results, you gotta, you gotta give it 
high quality hardware. So the, the highest quality is gonna be the X10 and the Minnow and the Soul. And then the lower quality will be, you know, the kind of like the AC two milliliter per minute and all that. Again, but you, you and I can afford that, you know, but I remember when I was in college, I, you know, <laughs> You and I remember I couldn't even days. afford reefing in college. What kind of college did you go to, Carlos? <laughs> I remember buying corals and eating ramen noodles because, you know. It was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. Here's how I'm using the hydros to test alkalinity on my reef. I'm using the IV in conjunction with the X10. The IV provides the testing and isolation vessel. Tank water is pumped in and out of the IV with the X10. The X10 also doses a reagent for the alkalinity test. Now I'm only using three of the four heads on the X10, so I've got an extra dosing head for whatever I might need it for in the future, such as an ATO pump, dosing alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, amino acids, etc. More options and more capability, no one ever complains about that. A glass pH probe, which is more sensitive than a regular pH probe, is included with the IV and it connects to the X10 here. Since the X10 has a salinity probe port, I went ahead and added a salinity probe to the IV. The software side of alkalinity testing looks like this. I create a new output and label it IV tester. For the family, I select IV and the IV out testing template is automatically loaded. Select each pump on the X10 for what it doses. Select where I connected the stir motor, which is drive port one. Select the pH for the IV. Then I set how much of a variance from the previous test I'm willing to accept. In this case, if the alkalinity is half a dKH higher or lower than the previous alkalinity test, then the IV will immediately run another test to confirm its reading. Test method was EPA. Yes, there are other options, and I just went with what Coral V recommended. Then select the location of the salinity probe if you have one, then set up the schedule. It's easiest to use the built-in schedule, starting at midnight, leaving the run count at zero, then selecting how often you want to run your alkalinity test. I'm testing twice a day, so that's every 12 hours. For the first month that I was running the IV, was running four tests a day. As I got more used to the hardware and the software, and as I spot checked the results from the IV against a HANA alkalinity checker, and I found those results to be very accurate, I've backed off my test to two times a day. Now given that the alkalinity reagent is so inexpensive, and I don't have to burn up calcium and magnesium reagents because I'm not checking for those when I don't need to, I could easily dial up my testing more if I wanted to. But for now, two tests a day for the alkalinity keeps me happy. Now, for those of you that pay attention, you're saying, okay, all this IV stuff is great, but Coral View has talked about their all-in-one tester, the Maven, it's coming out some point in the future, we don't know when. What's the info on that, given that you're talking about automatic testing? Well, Carlos was here, so I had some questions for him. One of the biggest questions I get is, what's the difference between the IV and the Maven? Or if I have the IV and I buy the Maven, what do I do with the IV? That was my question to you is, what do I do with the IV once I get the Maven because the Maven will do what the IV does in terms of testing out clinic? Yeah, well the difference is in the application. First of all, the IV is going to be the machine that is going to give you the cheapest tests. All right, so let's put an example. Let's, I mean, let's put a, um, a hypothetical example that an IV test is going to cost you five cents. So then a Maven alkalinity test is probably going to cost you 10 times that. So, if you're testing alkalinity every two hours or every four hours, that can add up really quick. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, yeah, people will say on oh, one day, oh yeah, what's, what's a dollar, what's two dollars, what's three dollars? But when you add that over a week, over a month, over a year, it adds up. Mm. On the other hand, the Maven is gonna be 10, 10 you know, probably 10 times the price. But if you're only testing once a day, then it's perfect for you. Okay. So there's no, there's, it's no right or wrong, it depends on the application. The IV is gonna render a much economic test than the Maven is. So if you're the person that likes to have uh, complete control, <laughs> I sometimes often call it micromanage the alkalinity. If you're, if you're micromanaging, the IV is for you. Otherwise, it's the Maven. So let's say you are the latter and you test all once, a, once a day. So now what do you have to do with the IV and the X10? The great thing about it is that you don't have to sell it. You're not stuck with a machine that is testing alkalinity and you have no other option. Right. What do you do now is you repurpose the four dosing heads on the X10 and you can use them for dosing chemicals based on the Maven's readings. True. Uh, 
I'm not stuck with something that doesn't do anything but test because it's a dosing solution too. Exactly. Okay. And if you want that isolation for your salinity test, your pH, the IV gets you that as well. I mean, the, the whole point is that there's options out there. Mm. There's not one thing is right or one thing is wrong. And I think that's one thing that I want to point to get people to kind of get across is that, you know, you don't have to be right. I don't have to be right. We both can be right. It all depends on the application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for me, if I'm testing calcium and magnesium once a week, great. I'm happy. I do that in manual tests to spot check things. I like to have the option of just running my alkalinity. Mm -hmm. If I get a maven, then I can say, let's test the calcium and magnesium more if I want. Now, can I use a maven for calcium and magnesium and not use it at all for Absolutely. alkalinity? It's not gonna that's what I was, gonna, that I was gonna say. It's like, over the last few years, we've been trained that we have to, if you test alkalinity, you have to test calcium and you have to test magnesium. You have no choice. You have to do it. Mm -hmm. With the maven, you don't have to. Now, the maven is gonna, run, gonna test alkalinity, magnesium, calcium, phosphate, and nitrate. So let's say that you, want to test alkalinity once a day, then you don't need to test calcium every day, so you test once a week. Mm -hmm. Even though the alkalinity is testing daily, and the phosphate and the nitrate, you can test them daily too. So we're not forcing you to test multiple things at once. If you want to test just one and the other one once a month, you can. It's up to you. And the reason we do that is because the Maven is equipped with a rinsing mechanism. Air and RODI that is going to happen after every test, so you don't, we don't leave any chemicals in the lines that will dry up if you don't test often. Okay, so one device is gonna test all those elements? Absolutely, one device will do calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, phosphate, nitrate. You can do them all together, you can do them separately, you can bunch, you know, do two and the other three, you can choose whatever you want, and on top of that, which is great, is that we're not making you purchase another Hydro's brain in order to use it. You can grab it, stand alone, that could be your only product, Hydro's. And if you add more Hydro's gear, if those other Hydro's modules go down for whatever reason, you can spot swap them out, right to configuration. The redundancy. Redundancy, not only that, but also every device has a Wi-Fi chip with a brain. So if one fails, you know, the app, the cloud, will connect to the other one and at least give you a sense of what's going on instead of just saying, instead of not being able to connect and you don't know, it's like, did something happen to the house? Did I lose power? Did catch on fire, God forbid, or anything like that. But what I'm saying is that you can, it, it does give you, the more brains you have, the more redundancy you'll have in terms of what you can do.